everybody, welcome to this week's Rock and Pop Vinyls. This is episode 25, and on the rock side of things, we're still on the seas, which is clutch. And uh, I don't know why I'm saying that, I really can't explain. But anyway, I'm always in a good mood when I get to listen to clutch, share clutch, talk about clutch. Last week's album, which was Earth Rocker, of course, number one clutch record, dethroned um, Blast Tyrant. From a couple of weeks ago. Still love Blast Tyrant. Blast Tyrant is still number two in my book. But we're moving on to 2015's Psychic Warfare. Great record. Rockin' album. Um, this literally, and I, you know, you're, you, I was talking about um, Strange Cousins from the West uh, back in episode, I want to say 23, and about how that album was a precursor in the direction that Clutch was going. Uh, Strange Cousins of the West and Earth Rocker really could be bookended as a double album really with of course earth earth rocker being that steady climb up to that plateau uh that plateau didn't stop with their next album which is psychic warfare um it didn't get any greater but it didn't diminish either this uh could have been a three song three album run to be honest with you uh this album had a lot of cool tracks on it uh track number two x-ray visions with probably the biggest hit off this record followed by track number four which is a quick death in texas um i love this album entirely uh i actually went and saw them twice on this tour cycle saw them as a headliner and then i got to see them open for lamb of god um on the surface that sounded like an odd pairing not at all great show um it was just fantastic uh this um on the second time i saw them which was when they were headlining they did uh track number five on here is called sucker for for the witch and um i'm sure it was pretty popular off this record but let me tell you live this song kills I mean, this, this, I mean, it is fantastic. I mean, I remember sitting there with my friend Jerry and we were watching him and we, you know, he and he, I even discussed on our way home from that show, you know, yeah, it's a good track off this record, but live went from here to here. It's just a fantastic song and they just kill it live. But uh, without further ado, let's go ahead and get into uh, Psychic Warfare. I already have it queued up. And uh, we'll get this going. So Psychic Warfare Clutch. I'm going to go ahead and set this back here. Alright, so. Had a uh, semi-decent week. Uh, I didn't do a lot of shopping. Um, it's still just really, really hot. And, you know, being uh, late June, I'm not going to complain. It could be a lot worse in Arizona. Uh, yesterday was officially the first day of summer. It's just gonna get worse from here. So July is gonna be a brutal month. Temperature-wise, it's gonna get up into the high one, one teens, into even possible 120. Uh, so I'm probably gonna have pretty much everything mailed to me, and we're just gonna do a lot of unboxing on this show. Um, all right. I mean, I, today I even went out and wanted to do a little out in the wild, and I just gave up. I'm like, I just can't, can't do it. Now, mind you, there's nothing, you know. As with anywhere you live, there's a lot of yin and yang. Some places get tornadoes, some people, some places get blizzards, and some places get um, hurricanes. So I, I'm really fortunate. And the only thing I have to really deal with in Arizona is this pretty much three and a half month stretch of just really hot weather. Outside of that, I don't have to deal with earthquakes. I don't have to deal with severe w uh, winters at all. Um, we have a pretty good monsoon season where we get a lot of rain and lightning and thunder. But in general, it's pretty much a Mother Nature just showing off with her wonderful fireworks. Um, so I'm very fortunate. So I, I don't plan on moving. I love Arizona. Arizona is amazing. We get essentially nine months out of the year. It's paradise. But right now, it's not the paradise part. But anyway, I did have some out in the wild, and we'll get into that next. Hey guys, welcome back to Guess That Pop, and I'm here with my co-host, Taylor, and Magic Jazz Hands. Also okay. known as Hi. <laughs> okay, so we're here with our Guess That Pop mystery box, 
and this comes to us from Chalice Collectibles. This is my second mystery box from Chalice Collectibles, except the last one was themed oriented. It was a Marvel box, so that was pretty pretty easy. Got to end up with a lot of chrome. Um, a couple ones I didn't have, but uh, it was still a cool experience. But that was my first Chalice box. This one here, I have no idea whatsoever what is in it. So, matter of fact, we haven't even decided how we're going to do this today. How do we want to do it? Do you want to guess or do you want me to guess? You guess. I guess. Okay, so I'm guessing. And the rules for Guess That Pop still stand. All, all she has to do is stump me one time and she gets a cool prize. Which so, I have no idea what is. She's been asking me all freaking day long and I decided not to give her any hints whatsoever. You gave me a hint. Did I? Yeah. What, I, what kind of hand did I get? You gave, you said that I would like to like play with the, and use the things that... I think I said use. Yeah, use the things that are in... Okay, so here we are, Chalice, I with like their new box. cool own label Ninja box. box. Ta -da. All right, let's see if we can get this out. We don't want to damage things. Nope, no damaging. Oh. There we go, teamwork. Oh, that was heavy. Makes the guessing the popcorn. Okay, work. so okay. you turn around and I'll open it. Okay, hold on. Let me make sure. Oh yeah. Okay, so anyway, cool chalice box okay, I'll here. I'll open it. I'll open it. All right, so here we go with guess that pop. O M G. Oh, that's a good sound. I like that. Oh boy. That, well, this is probably something I would like, but whatever. I'm gonna start with this. This is from a new movie. From a new movie? Yes. Okay. Disney movie. Okay. And it's a bad guy. Do do I want to see this movie? We've seen this movie. Oh, we saw it. Yep. Uh, Aladdin. Yep. Jafar. Yep. Yeah. Oh, cool. and the royal thing, but that's fine. Oh, cool. You I don't. don't have him, I don't okay. have him. Nope. That's hey, awesome. Okay. Jafar. That's cool. Well, I, I, like I actually really liked this movie. Didn't you like it, Taylor? I loved it. It's so good. I can't get a song out my head. Oh, cool. So I I got one right. All right. Next up. Okay. Um. Um. Come oh on, my. I'm rocking you it. You are here. going to love this. Okay. Cool. Oh my gosh. I have to show this. Oh my gosh. Um. You got something kind of like this last time. It is a sport. Okay. Um, is it basketball? Yep. And the guy's first name starts with an M. Is it Michael Jordan? Yep. But look at this, Daddy. It's gold. Oh, sweet. And he's in a pop protector, too. Isn't oh, he awesome? He's freaking way awesome. I'm like, oh, oh my gosh, my dad's going to love this. Ah. Yep, yeah, I will love You are correct. That is fantastic. That is an oh, awesome. I'm scared. Awesome pop. Okay, so I'm, hey, Taylor, I got two in a row. I'm scared. I feel like I'm not going to get anything. Okay. Ugh, I don't even know what the heck is this is. What the heck? Um, it's about horror. It's from movies. It's It's horror? Yeah, I guess. It's movies? Yep. It, does it look scary? Not really, <laughs> but... Do you think it would be a horror movie, or was it more like a sci-fi movie? Or... Probably horror. More horror? Yeah, I feel like this is going to be horror. Is it, a, is, it a, is it a creature, or is it like a human? It's a human, and it's a woman. Ooh. This is hard. I don't know if you've ever watched this. I know I haven't. I don't know a thing about it's this. It's a woman? Yes. I feel like you should just do that. Okay. Um, hard. hold on. The heck? Is she scary looking? No. Oh, okay. She looks like a regular woman. Is it from it? Nope. Um, hold on. This is hard. I have never seen... Any. I've never seen a pop from this. Okay. So you said it's a woman, it's yep. scary. It, does it say movies on it? Yep. Okay. If um, I were you, I would give Okay. And I'm going to take one last shot. Is it a newer movie or older movie? I have no idea. Uh, okay. <laughs> uh, okay, I give up. Little Shop of Horrors. Oh, okay. Audrey 
Hard. Okay, you know what? You're correct in saying poor because it has it in its <laughs> title. But this Taylor, you would actually like this. This isn't a. This is actually a musical. Oh. Yeah. I like musicals. You would actually have a lot of fun. I don't have anything from the Little Shop of Horrors collection. Is it like scary? Well, she's got a little bit of damage to her, actually. Um, no, it's not. It's not really scary. Then There's why is a it little bit of a bend right up here in the lip. Um. Box integrity's good though. That means okay. I'm gonna get my prize. Okay, you did. You get your prize. You stumped me. All right. What's next? This is from a movie. Okay. From Heroes. Like DC superheroes? Yes. Oh, okay. And uh, it has a bunch of different. Um. Is it a good guy or a bad guy? I don't know. <laughs> is it from Aquaman? No. Shazam. Oh boy. You only get three guesses, okay? Oh, does that mean I have one more guess? Yep. And you said movies? Mm-hmm. It is a movie. But the thing is heroes. Mm. Justice League? Yes. Oh, it is Justice League. Yes. Okay. Whew. Um. Mm. Dang it. You're out of guesses. I, it, I know, I'm not making a guess. Oh. I, I'm actually trying to decide what I think it is. Um, dang it. Uh, Justice League. Oh, I'm thinking it's the bad guy. Um, oh, who was the bad guy in that show? Oh, it's going to come to me. Oh, I don't know. Steppenwolf. Steppenwolf. I knew it. This is actually a repeat for me. I actually have Steppenwolf. I knew it was Steppenwolf, but just the name was not coming to me. I'm going to take half credit for that. I would have I would have got that. That's cool. This is a really cool pop. Um, I can't tell if it's the pop protector that's damaged or the pop itself. I'll have to check that out. It looks like uh, there's some minor scuffing, but the Steppenwolf pop is a cool pop. Um, like I said, I do have him, though. And yeah, okay, what do we got next? I think we have two more, right? This is from Rocks. So like, oh, okay. people that play instruments, I guess. Okay. It's a man. Okay. Is he, does he got like a drumstick or? No, he has a guitar. Is it from ACDC? No. That, okay. Oh, okay. Is it Angus Young? Nope. One more guess. Oh, I said ACDC. Um, ooh, tough. Um, mm, uh, is it Johnny Cash? Yes. Yep, yeah, did I get it? Yeah! Ooh, all right. I actually already have this, too. <laughs> I actually have them down here on this bottom shelf. Uh, looks like it's in... I see them. Yeah, I think it's in better shape than the one I have, actually. This may be a box upgrade, to be honest with you. Um, but, I'll, hey, I dig it. Johnny Cash, cool. Okay, we got one more. Taylor, I've only missed, what, two? I think so. Well, I'm going to say one and a half, because I knew it was Steppenwolf. I just couldn't remember his name. <laughs> okay. okay, what do we got? This is... From Marvel. Okay. Um. Oh. Oh. Um. I feel like it's a new. Wait. I think this is a new. Wait. Mm. Is it a movie or is it like? It's a movie. Oh, it's a movie. Mm. Is it from the new Endgame movie? Uh, yes. Oh boy. Well. Is it female or male? Male. Was that three guesses? Or do I have one more? What? I lost count. What? Wait, I asked if it was a movie. Yeah. And I asked if it was male or female. Yeah. Oh, I asked if it was from Endgame. Oh, okay, you said it was a guy. That could be anybody. Uh, Hulk. 
What? Yeah. Is it Hulk? Yes. <laughs> oh, how funny is that? And this is a repeat. So I have this one too. I'm not sure if you had that one yet. No, I do. I do. He's back up there. Wait, he's over here in the Marvel section. He's tucked back here. These are all Marvel figures right here, Taylor? Yeah. Um, DC is right above me. Yeah. Um, cool. Well, I actually already have this one. So how how weird is that? So three out of the six. You just like guessed. You're like, it's a Hulk. I just threw I just threw one out there. Okay, we got. There's like a bunch of them. So that was all of them. So I'm gonna go officially say I was four for six. Um, I just couldn't remember Steppenwolf. This is a way cool pop, to be honest with you. I really enjoy it, but I already have it. Um, I think the, the best one the, is Michael Jordan. Yeah, the Michael Jordan. You are correct. That is that is just an awesome I did pop. not know who that was at first because I only saw the top of it. Like half I, of I head. got the other Michael Jordan last episode, but he came from the Kronos damage box, and he was definitely damaged. Uh, the back end right back here on that one was pretty much crushed in. But from... The front view, once I put it in a, in a protector, you wouldn't know. And it's for me anyway, so I can live with it. But this this one is really sharp. This is an awesome pop. Actually, they're all awesome. I just happen to have three out of the six. I like that. Now, of course, now this means I have to get the rest of this series. This is one of those series I liked it from the get-go. I just kept on forgetting about it, and I didn't really invest any time into getting it. Yeah, it's got some really cool ones back here. See the plant? Yeah. The plant's alive. And he sings and he eats people. That's why it's called Little Shop of Horrors. He's in a coffee. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's pretty fun. But uh, and this was pretty cool. I like this one. Um, I actually have the rest Aww. of this entire series. I was only missing him, so this was a that's definite awesome. win. Yeah, I, I have the rest. You've seen him back there. But that's cool. So that that was an awesome win. Okay, are you ready for your prize? Yeah. All right, close yeah. your eyes. So this one I went a little bit different from. I'm always getting her toys and stuff. And of course, I wanted to mix it up a little bit. So I got her this cool set here. It took up a lot of the screen, but okay. So here you go. Open your eyes. What is this? It's so big. Oh, you get to like... Oh, it's hair stuff. Yeah. It's oh, all yeah, your hair. This is cool. Tons of stuff. It's 160 pieces. Wow. <laughs> There's like hair things. She always likes to hair. pretend she has a salon. She's always trying to do my hair or the lack thereof. Oh, I do his beard. Yeah, she does. I, I put like little ponytails and beard. I try to put glitter in it. No glitter and no washout paint. But isn't oh, that fun? Bob, Bob, Bob. Yep. You got barrettes. You got. This is going to be actually perfect because I'm getting my hair cut. Yep. So I can put like a bunch of these different things, like these tiny scrunchies in my hair. Do you like it? Mm-hmm. I right. love it. Look at well, these tiny little clips. <laughs> well, that's going to be it for uh, Guess That Pop today. And I uh, had a lot of fun with Taylor and her mini hair pieces, which I'm sure a few of these items may end up in my beard. Yep. Probably all of them. No. When we go downstairs. No, no. All right, guys. We're going to go ahead and say goodbye with Guess That Pop, and I'll be back uh, in just a minute. All right, guys. I'm back with to uh, Out in the Wild. And um, like I said, it's too hot. But I did go out um, a little bit of shopping. Uh, I was really frugal this week. Um, I actually stopped by, of all places, the 99 cent store. I don't go there very often, but um, I like to pop in every once and again to see if I can find any pops. They actually had quite a few. Now, the nice thing about going there is they sell their pops for $1.99. Most of the time, it ends up being pops I don't want at all, or pops that I, I did not pick up on their initial run, and I'm trying to complete... Um, sets or series. So with that said, they had a pretty big uh, lineup of NBA pops, and I picked up a couple. Like I said, these are only, I haven't even taken the stickers off yet. They're $1.99. You can't beat that. Two bucks. But for my NBA line, I ended up picking up Isaiah Thomas from the Boston Celtics. And uh, it's in great shape. 
which is crucial in a place like the 99 cent store, very similar to like, say, Walmart or Barnes & Noble. These things get pretty beat up, but I was surprised. They're in tip-top shape. So Isaiah Thomas, I picked up a uh, Cleveland Cavaliers, Kyrie Irving. He's no longer with the Cavaliers, but this will complete my set. Um, I only needed a few more, and uh, yeah, so again, great condition. $1.99, you can't beat it. That's two bucks for a pop. That's in perfect condition. It will go perfect with my NBA line that I'm starting to collect. And then I ended up picking up this Rasputin from the Hellboy series. This was the only one I needed from um, this set. So I had everybody on the back here, just needed this one. Um, there it is, $1.99. Tip top shape. Tell, not a fantastic. Can't beat it. So that was 99 cents, sorry, six dollars. Three pops, sold, good deal. I ended up going to Hot Topic this week as well. Got uh, this this Hot Topic run, strictly rock and pop vinyls. And you know what I mean by that? When I say rock and pop vinyls, it was strictly rock pickups. First one out of the bag, we have Sting from the police. This is a fun looking pop. I want to get the rest of them, but they were pretty picked over, and this was the last one they had on the shelf that was in good shape, and it was Sting. So, had to have it. Great shape. There we are, Sting. Um, I'm starting to collect the new Kiss line, so I ended up getting two of those. We have the Catman. Really good shape. That's Catman Peter Chris. Uh, as you can tell, we have the Demon, Gene Simmons. We also have the Star Child. And we have the Spaceman Ace Freely. And so I only end up getting the Catman. And I ended up getting Paul Stanley's The Star Child. Great shape here. And I believe I ordered the demon, which is uh, Gene Simmons right here. I actually ordered him, I believe, from a company, uh, online toy company through eBay. Um, I ended up getting him for $10.99 with free shipping. To me, I was sold on that. It was guaranteed uh, mint condition. So we'll see. Um, that should have arrived today. Um, I haven't checked the mail yet, but that will be in our mail segment segment so hopefully he did arrive so we can uh, get close to completing this set, uh, this collection the only one I need left actually is the spaceman ace freely I need that one I don't have that one yet but uh, yeah so this is the out in the wild this week um, like I said I was pretty frugal I spent six dollars here but um, this completes my NBA collection my current NBA collection anyway I should rephrase that completes my Hellboy collection so I'm completely done with that and uh hey rock and roll baby rock and roll we get rock and pop vinyls so this is a great pickup so uh like i said hopefully in the mail i haven't checked that yet um hopefully i'll have it checked by the time i get ready to film that segment so anyway okay so that was uh out in the wild this week and uh with that said uh we'll be back with a mail call Hey guys, all right, I'm back with the mail call. So uh, the mail call was a little bit bigger than I was anticipating. I was thinking maybe one or two items, four items. So uh, we're gonna get right into it. So first things first, I was talking to you during uh, Out in the Wild. I had ordered a Demon Gene Simmons Kiss figure and that should be this right here. It came from an online uh, toy company. I can't remember the name of it. I apologize for that. On eBay. First time I've ever dealt with them. So uh, hopefully uh, everything comes out good. This was guaranteed mint. So um, hopefully that's a good thing. Right, let's see what we have here. We got some bubble wrap. Just kind of thrown on top. Wasn't even wrapped. We'll see. Uh, okay, so... Yep, definitely uh, the Demon Gene Simmons, and uh, from what I can tell, 
yeah, everything looks pretty good. Simple piece of um, bubble wrap, simple box. Um, the thing about this that was really impressive was the shipping time. I ordered this, um, took two days, straight up. Um, it came from New Jersey. Um, matter of fact, I think a couple of these items I ordered after this. No, 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 before this, and I just got them. So that was pretty impressive. The shipping time was great, and the shipping was free, so it was ten ninety nine. And you can't beat that ten ninety nine for a brand new release pop when you have free shipping and guaranteed um, condition. So here we are, the Demon Gene Simmons Kiss. So that's perfect. So all I need is the Spaceman, and I will have that complete. So uh, I found a bunch of uh, Spacemen out when I was open, um, out looking. But, um, well, actually, I only found three. No, I found four. I found one at a um, toy shop here in the valley called um, Toy... I think it was called Toy Kingdom or something like that. But pretty much someone just should have took their foot and stomped on it because that was the equivalent of its condition. Um, and then I found two at Barnes & Noble, and we don't need to discuss that anymore. So, they're still at Barnes & Noble. They're probably worth about $3. Anyway, so uh, yeah, pretty good, pretty good, pretty good. I'm really happy about that. Okay, so my next two up are from Kronos Toys. I have two, I jumped on their June Challenger set that they, uh, well, I guess they're technically mystery boxes. So um, I've bought four so far. And I'm not really upset or anything like that. And, uh, no repeats, but nothing really fancy either. So, okay. We have here wrapped really well, and I can tell you right now without even opening this, I have no idea what this is. This is from a video game called Persona 5, and the character's name is Joker. I know nothing about this, I know no clue about value or anything like that. The Conditions in great shape, you know, and and, and I've come to uh, get that from Kronos, so that's pretty cool. Um, this will definitely be one that I move along. It does not fit into my collection at all. I do not do video game pops whatsoever. Um, so anyway, great condition. I'm sure it's a pretty cool pop. I'm sure it's a pretty cool game. I know nothing about it. Um, it's only a four-figure line, and they all look pretty cool, to be honest with you. They look really cool. Huh. I don't know. I'm just not I'm not a gamer. I'm a sports game guy. I'll, I'll play Madden with the best of them. Um, you know, I'll play NBA 2K. You know, uh, my oldest daughter, Tori, tells me all the time that I don't play real video games because sports games don't count. I think they count, but it is what it is. All right, so box number two here is from Kronos as well. Let's see what we got. Oh, I'm excited about this one. I can see it through the bubble wrap, mainly because I don't, well, one, I don't have them. I have uh, Woody from my, from the current movie, but I've been actually look. oh, it's even better. This one's, oh, it's in great shape. Cool. Sweet. Two, at least I got nothing against this pop. I mean, I just don't know anything about it. You know, I don't know. But I ended up getting this Woody black and white. I don't even know if this is an exclusive. I don't know. Maybe you guys would know. I I mean, I, I wanted him when he first came out, and there was a lot of price gouging on a lot of these. I know, I know for a fact, like, Rex is up there price-wise. So is Ham from this line. But I'm super, super stoked about this. Um, I love Toy Story. I wanted to go see it this weekend, but um, I, I pre-buy all my movie tickets because I like to be able to pick my seat and all that. And every showing this weekend was sold out. So I'm going to wait till next weekend. Um, it calms down a little bit. Um, Taylor's still on summer vacation, so she definitely wants to see it. So we'll go see it. I'm super excited about seeing Toy Story uh, 4, but I'm really, really happy about this pop. This is freaking awesome. That is awesome. Thank you, Kronos. You made my day. I'm still cooling down from the heat outside. But anyway, that's a cool pop. All right, cool. All right, so my last piece of mail is, this is another first for me. This is from Poptopia. Um, I like what they did here. They put fragile stickers, but it looks like it, 
still had its moments. Um, tape's a little loose, some bends. Um, I know I had to pick my own box number. The box number on this was number 21. Nothing special about picking that number, actually. They were just flying off their site. As, it was one of those things where I was on, and I was picking numbers, and they were selling, just like that, gone, gone. So I literally just picked whatever number popped up next. Hopefully 21's good. Um, hopefully the pop, there should be two pops in here. Um, the pops are not damaged. Um, listening to it, it's possible that this may be wrapped, and I don't, I, honestly, I don't think this got dented enough to cause any damage. But anyway, again, this is my first ever Poptopia box. So let's go ahead and get into that. Box number 21. Maybe you'll be lucky in like 21. I don't know. What do you do on 11? You double down. You always double down. Don't ask. I'm just having a movie reference moment. Okay, so we got some paper. Oh, okay. This is, like I said, this is my first Poptopia. Oh, okay. Ah, we got a note. Let's see. Poptopia. I guess they put notes in their boxes. Oh, it says, congratulations, you got a chase. Keep calm and post on Instagram. Thank you for your order. Okay, well, I will definitely post that to my Rock and Pop Vinyls Instagram after this. But here we are. It says I have a chase. So, let's see. Okay. Oh, you know what? I have seen people open these. It just dawned on me. Um, because this is my first Poptopia box, and there's so many companies out there that are doing these now, I, I get them mixed up by who does what. But Poptopia wraps these in um, brown paper bags. I've seen uh, Steven and Jessica on Two Peas and a Pop open quite a few of these. So uh, if you guys ever get a chance to check out Two Peas and a Pop, I highly recommend it. I mean, recommend it. Jessica and Steven are hilarious. And, uh, yeah, that's all there is to that. So, all right. So, I guess we're going to do this. I'll do it like they do, and I'll show it to you guys first. Let me see. It's in the wrapper, so let me see if I can get... Oh, it's in a pop protector, too, so... I can't tell what's backwards, forward. Okay, that's going to be the bottom. All right, let's see. Uh, is it right side up? I don't know. Oh! Oh, sweet. Okay, cool. I don't have this. So this is uh, this is my chase. This is uh, the Flurkin. He looks to be in great shape. Nice pot protector. I really wanted this one, too. I just haven't seen him out in the wild. That's cool. That's awesome. All right, so here we go. Last one. And let's see. Oh, this one's in a pop protector too. Maybe that's a Poptopia thing. I didn't. I didn't really do my research. I was just lucky that I was able to uh, get on there. Okay, so here we are. It's in a pop protector. Hopefully. Okay, let's see what we got. Oh, cool. We've got Alex Trebek from Jeopardy. I don't have anything from this at all. But there you are, Alex Trebek. He's actually battling a cancer scare right now, so hopefully, um, you know, big prayer out to him. He can get through that. That That's awesome. Okay, cool. So, I mean, that is fun. That's my first Poptopia box ever. So, uh, yeah, I'll definitely share that on my Instagram, like they said. So, I got my Fleur King, got my Alex Trebek. Um, I will have to say that's a pretty successful mail call this week. Um, something that happened to me that was really cool this week, and I'm going to share that with you real quick. Um, I was at work, and one of my coworkers, Woody, just want to say hi, because I promised him I'd give him a shout-out on this episode. Um, he watches my channel, and uh, I guess he really does watch the channel, because he does pay attention to certain things I'm doing, or how I go about getting pops, etc., whatever. But he surprised me this week. He kept on saying he had a surprise for me, and he bought me something, and I kept on saying, hey, Woody, don't buy me anything. You know, you don't need to do that. He goes, oh, this Thursday, I'll tell you, da 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 and he, you, what have you. Anyway, long story short, Woody got me a pop, and he got me this. 
the Walmart exclusive Mysterio Glow in the Dark. I've been looking all over. I went to seriously like 10 different Walmarts. Uh, I went to Walmart.com. They uh, say on their website that they have it, but it's uh, English, John, English, specifically sold in stores. And so uh, that was kind of a bummer. I couldn't order them. I thought I would be able to. So I did exactly what it said, specifically in stores. I went store to store to store and uh, wasn't able to get it. So Woody, thank you again, Woody. Uh, this really made my day. It was awesome to get this. Uh, he has an awesome glow, by the way. I will share that on my Instagram, too. Uh, I'm going to do like a side-by-side -side with uh, Molten Man and Hydro Man because they I have the glowing darks of them as well. Um, and uh, I asked him, I said, hey, where'd you find it? And he said, offer up. So, probably got that little tidbit for me. But it was an awesome gift. Big surprise. And, uh, yeah. So, all right. Well, you know what? To be, tell you what, that's it for uh, episode 25 of Rock and Pop Vinyls this week. Thank you guys for watching. If you guys like what I'm doing, hey, subscribe. Like the video. And if you want to see more video drops from me, go ahead and click the alert button down below. And you will get an alert every single time I drop a video. And uh, as always, thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys next week. Hey, this is David Ellison here from Megadeth, and you are watching Rock and Pop Vinyls with Johnny Ringo.